Yeah, absolutely. Of course, they could go the other way too. Is to say, uh, re, you know, IDD could either uh, honed, they're primed. Right. Uh, yeah. They just had a whole bunch of weekend of practice, and now uh, you know maybe reunite's coming cold. Because the one thing about scrimming is that, you know, I, I don't know what a reunite scrim schedule is, uh, mind you. I mean, totally could they could have gotten some good games then. Who knows? But. Uh, oftentimes, it's harder to get scrims on the weekends because all the teams you want to scrim are focused on the tournament. And certainly, you know, if they lose a tournament or even if you win the tournament, you don't really want to go into more games after that. You sort of like, okay, good job today, guys. Uh, you know, take a break, go watch some Netflix, etc. Right. Okay, so they are going to speed boost out the uh, decimetry here. I strategy it's that spreading. It's, it's catching on. It is a smart strategy. And they're going to put the turrets in the same spot. That's what I'm saying. Like, now someone needs to come up with some, like, Junkrat Hierarch span that gets really symmetric turrets. Yeah. That's the next level. Because we do see so, the, the six turrets on the gate happen pretty often. And it looks like we're going to see Hanzo. So, why don't you go over and read the defense, though? So, for the reunited side, we got Unfixed on the Reaper, Valtaja on McCree, Morte on Zinyana, Too Easy on Symmetra, Winghaven on Reinhardt, and Sandalex rounding things off on Lucia. Yeah, offensively, this is, uh, you know, the IDDQD variant of the six Hanzo strat. They usually uh, save their last one for a little bit later, and they damage boost it, um, which is, it's just so interesting that this strategy has caught on and now has, like, secondary strategies to it. Yeah, no, so, okay, so they're going to damage boost each Hanzo in turn. Yeah. All right, we're going to watch this as it goes forward, guys. Actually, they're only damage boosting one. They're not being that crazy with it. The dragon awakens. So, nothing happening there on, on the initial uh, Hanzo spam rollout. Pluppy's actually going to put uh, on his Reaper pants today. Chips is going to follow him around with Mercy. Mendo is going to be on McCree. Or no, not Reaper. Sure, Farrah. he's Farrah. on I meant Farrah. Farrah. Yeah, I was going to say, your favorite here. I know, I just I misspoke. It happens. Uh, Mendo is on McCree. Internet Hawk is on 76. Coco will be playing Reinhardt. And the bridge of will round it out with Lucio. I was so excited. I was so Pluppy. excited I misspoke. So, take a look at Pluppy here. Pluppy uh, with the uh, Farrah poking down. We even though striking first blood, Reinhardt be Reinhardt takes out Coco. And uh, reunited, trying to hold in strong here against the offensive IDD TD. There, they are starting to push in. Will be uh, poking a little bit more aggressively with Fair. We'll get to a kill for IDD QD. IDD QD now uh, up two players over reunited. Morte though striking back takes out Mendo Kusai. Both teams sort of brawling it out on top of the point right now. Uh, IDD QD struggling for advantage in the point. They do have the resurrect coming up from Tintagen, and now IDD QD in a pretty good spot here. They are have firm control of the point. They've gotten one third. They still have four people on the point. But here comes Reunite. Reunited coming back. We do see a barrage coming out. Fluffy uh, kills one, kills two. That's a double kill for Fluffy. And now uh, IDD QD. Uh, continuing their dominance on the point. Yeah, they kind of just went in and really established themselves. Then they put Pluppy in the Mercy in the window and were able to rain hell down upon them, and they were unable to. And look how fast they were oh, moving Oh, look at how streets. quick they're going in. They're chasing this down. Internet Hulk takes out too easy. I think they're a little bit worried that people still might be in the spawn point there for Reunited, but uh, you see Internet Hulk now getting uh, told to go back and push a cart. We need three on it, so he's going to go on the carts and maximize the pushing power at three people on the part. And we see uh, Pluppy and Mendo right now uh, blowing it out and uh, really pushing Reunited back. Yeah, they're just hanging out up front. They're getting damage boosted. And a damage boosted uh, Ferris spam can be really effective. Uh, we do have a Deadeye, however, coming up from Valtaja. Valtaja takes out two people with that Deadeye. Nice stuff coming up from Valtaja. And now uh, Reunited able to sort of clean up IDD Kitty a little bit and uh, perhaps take control of the streets phase of Things Row. Yeah, I mean, a nice little cleanup there. I don't think they're too worried about uh, losing their heroes there because the card is halfway through the streets race and they have nearly every ultimate available to them. Yeah, I was about to say, look at the ultimates that we're looking at here. Only Puppy is missing ultimate, and he's pretty close to getting as well. That being said, Death Blossom goes out. Too easy, able to take out Coco. Uh, defensive Transcendence uh, went out there, but only... Uh, Okay, two dead enough for IDD Kitty. This might be a little bit worse for them as they're going forward. Yeah, a little bit and too And look at the out. position of Pluppy here, though. Pluppy is uh, in the back, very aggressive position. Does have Chipsogen with him. Uh, very close to taking out Morte. Does take him out. And now uh, Pluppy, uh, with the support, uh, not in the worst of shapes, but uh, Chipsogen will actually get taken out by Chip. By uh, Too Easy, rather, and Volatage with the cleanup. So, Reunited, uh, definitely hanging in there. Not making this easy for IDD Kitty, uh, even though IDD Kitty had a great early push. We've been seeing some good stuff out of... Uh, United yeah, I think once you see Pluppy uh, be able to use his aerial barrage here, then he might switch off heroes. There's just too much coming up for Reunited that uh, really uh, shuts down a Pharah game. They've got a 76 and a McCree, uh, and not only any McCree, it's Balutage's McCree. Yeah, so that being said, here comes Pluppy coming in over the top. Deadeye coming out for Valtage. Valtage is going to force the Pharah back. The Pharah has to respect that. Even if it doesn't kill anyone here, it's still something that forces people back. Uh, multiple ultimates are, however, up for the IDD Kitty side still. 
they can really leverage this to their advantage. You know, gets picked off. Bontai, there it is. It's the Earth Shatter, and they were going to get the Barrage on top of it. Yeah, Earth Shatter Barrage, but take a look at Too Easy. Too Easy able to come in from the back. The Resurrect is up, however. So even though Too Easy doing a lot of work, there, Tips Gen undoing some of that work. And here comes Mendo. Mendo with the Dead Eye is going to get taken by Too Easy. Too Easy, uh, Doing some work as Soldier here, still alive, still killing people, might take out Pluppy, does take out Pluppy, and too easy making things look a little bit easy right now, as he kills, I think, and four people on the ladder after that part, let alone how long before. The Virtue Up, though, getting some value on the payload, uh, uncontested for a bit, is going to go down here, most likely, but hey, he's escaping, uh, I, perhaps I've spoken too soon. Yeah, Lucio is a, a very difficult character to kill, especially when you've got someone who on him who can escape very well and knows when to use that right click. Does oh, get to go and he gets eventually. taken out by Lucio's spam from Sam Alex, though. So Sam Alex making his presence known, but too easy. A uh, really good play coming at him so far, and IDD QD uh, getting pushed a bit back. Mendo Kusai able to take out Voltaja. Coco taking out Winhaven, but reunited coming right back with all that. Uh, doing work themselves, Morte uh, rezzing the Fallen, as it were, and Reunited, uh, honestly, their defenses looked great here, and uh, honestly, most teams have failed to give IDD QD this level of trouble. I'm really surprised at what we're seeing right now. I thought IDD QD was going to roll through them. Uh, Reunited has not been uh, the top team that they were uh, for a Thank little you. bit, and IDD QD definitely has. Take a look at this, we got uh, Too Easy versus Internet Hulk up here. Good poke coming out from Too Easy. In fact, Internet Hulk is gonna have to run because he's taking way too much damage here. Soldier is back at full HP. And Internet Hulk gonna get... Oh, he was so close to dying there. Anyways, uh, we do see the flank coming over here. Too Easy does have Tac Visor. He's gonna go for the Tac Visor flank. Offensive sound barrier is out, however. Uh, three kills now for the IDD QD offense. And even though Too Easy flanking from back gets two kills, uh, I don't know, Unfixed and Too Easy are both up, they can still potentially turn this, but the cart advantage is definitely to IDDQD right now. Yeah, they're in a tough uh, space to be able to contend the cart, and they knew exactly that their two were behind him. You see the, the Reinhardt actually going to uh, ride a shield into, and they're going to get this point here. Oh, that was a nice double shot by Mendo. Mendo looking for Too Easy, takes him out. Uh, Mendo Kusai finally making his presence zone with the double kill there. Internet Help takes out Winghaven, and now IDDQD bringing it back. But hey, uh, that was an impressive effort from Reunited to hold IDDQD that long in the streets. Yeah, I think IDDQD finally just did a Coordinated push, whereas they were happy just brawling it out before. Oh my goodness, a dead eye. A comes double out. dead eye, and that's gonna really help IDD QD maintain their momentum as they go through here on King's Row. Hulk's also up top, and he's got Death Blossom available. He's gonna try to drop down. He actually moves to a different vantage point, looking for the drop down still. Indeed, so here comes IDD QD there on top of the payload right now. They're going in. Right now on McCree versus McCree, Mendo versus Volataja. Unfixed, able to take out the bridge buff, but Mendo takes out Volataja in a McCree versus McCree battle. Defensive sound barrier is out. It's going to give Reunite a little bit more power here as they stay in. But the kills are going back and forth. Internet Hulk takes out Morte. Uh, we do have a res, I believe. That was uh, Chips Gen. Chips Gen does die for that res. However, uh, Earth Shatter is down. Too easy takes out. Medic uh, Voltage are coming in, uh, takes out Puppy in the fixed, taking out Coco. And look at this, the defense of Reunited is holding strong here. Yeah, I, I just really thought that he held onto that Death Blossom a little too long. Uh, he got in, he had everyone right, but that sound barrier went off before he was able to pop it, only took out uh, the Mercy in that fight, and now the defense is able to stabilize. Internet Hulk now even coming off the Reaper after that play, and he's going on to a Winston instead. Fluffy comes up as Widowmaker. Yep, uh, and here comes the Earth Shatter. The Earth Shatter, though, I think mostly nullified by the Reinhardt Shield. And Mendo able to take out Unfix as he rushes, and Pluppy takes out Voltaja, and now IDDQD punishing this defensive aggressiveness. And take a look at this. Mendo still going forward. Will he get the Lucio? Space Frog Lucio running. Yes, he gets him, and now look at where the payload is. This might be game for IDDQD. I don't know if uh, Reunite can get back to the Yeah, Too is about four miles away. He decided to uh, use his ultimate on a Winston. He's completely out of position, and a final push able to... Uh, you know, and the side of the map for IDDQD. Pretty good time, but a really good stall out defense by Reunited. Play of the game. So, play of the game. Coming out from Coco as Reinhardt. Uh, we saw, I think this is where uh, a great deal of people from IDD or from uh, Reunited were knocked down. That was a beautiful Earth Shatter. And this is how they got through the streets area. Yeah, and also it was because, like, too easy. I the damage classes for Reunited there were uh, doing good work behind the lines, but in a couple situations, that one and then towards the end again, it cost them. They were completely out of position, and while they're getting kills at a certain point, again, kills don't win you the map, you have to stop the objective. Uh, so right there, they were behind, and they weren't able to contest the car getting to second, and towards the end again, Too Easy was in the back line trying to do some work as the Pharah, and was able unable to be at the cart to help his team defend final push too. So, taking a look here, we are switching sides. It's time to beat four. Uh, 
what's it called? The time to beat Forbidden Night here is going to be 719. We'll see uh, if they'll be able to do that. I will say, though, that IDD QD, uh, we've seen this pretty often where IDD QD looks a little bit uh, like they're struggling on offense, especially in the first game of the day. And then they come out with an incredible defense. So, well, I think Reunite has a lot to be proud of on their defense there. They're going to have to bring in offense and get through uh, what was honestly a very intimidating uh, IDD QD defense. Yeah, the it's kind of, it reminds me very much of Friday when we did uh, Creation Esports King of the Watch. IDD came, came out a little bit sluggish and we thought Flat Earth was doing a really nice defense on this map, like a, on the streets in this exact same area. And then the rest of it was uh, pretty one-sided in IDD QD's favor. I think there's a certain point where they just kind of, they start taking it seriously. I think early on they feel like they can just kind of screw around and get their frags off and do kind of solo stuff. And then at a certain point they realize, no, that's not working. This is a legitimate team. We have to play them. And then they turn it on a little bit, and we saw more coordinated pushes as the map went on. So take a look here. As the IDDQD defense rolls out, we got Tipsogen on the Zenyatta, Mendo Kusai on the Lucio, Internet Hulk on Symmetra, and the Bridge Bup on Lucio, Ploppy on the Junkrat, and Coco rounding things out as Reinhardt. Yeah, offensively, I'm going to wait a little bit because we got a couple of Hanzos, we got a Widow, we got something weird going on. I'm going to go out on a limb with two things here. And they, these have been constants for a long time, and I've enjoyed them being constants. Balutaja will probably play McCree, and Winghaven will probably play Reinhardt. Other than that, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, every now and then we'll see uh, Winghaven switch to you know, a surprise Winston, but it doesn't happen too, too often. Yeah. But hey, uh, we're going to see uh, Too Easy. Go as the offensive widow here, see if he can get those picks. If he can get a quick pick uh, early on here, it could spell really, really good things for the reunited offense. So, yeah, we'll see Morte's what happens. still on the Hanzo, too. Uh, he does switch off at the end to a Mercy. So, Morte on Mercy, unfixed on Pharah. Too easy sticking on uh, that offensive widow for now. Oh, and Sanalex playing Lucio. Forgot the new guy. Yep, Sanalex. How can you forget the new guy? <laughs> Sanalex in uh, Mendo's old spot, but not uh, in a DPS spot. They've switched things around a little bit. So, taking a look at Too Easy here. Too Easy looking for shots if he can potentially take them uh, not able to get anything just yet uh, obviously the standard uh, turrets are up for IDD QD uh, taking a look here uh, Coco striking first blood for IDD QD takes out Winghaven Pluppy with the kill on fix and too easy uh, he's not really had too much to shoot at so far yeah, really good uh, on the on the defense, uh, avoiding some of those sight lines, not getting getting their heads peeked out a little bit. So a really uh, nice first stall out at the very least, and it's a complete reset so far. And take a look at Pluppy in his favorite spot in the alley. If you're on King's Rug inside DDQD, you can expect to find the one and only Pluppy spamming death from Junkrat in this alley. Chips took and out too easy. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Zenyatta is able to take out. Uh, Widows uh, under the right circumstances. I mean, it's risky, but it does happen, especially if the Zenyatta can be a little bit uh, tricky in the approach. And uh, right now, Reunited finding a lot of trouble just getting through this first area. Yeah, Puppy getting very aggressive, too. He leaves his alley, goes into the hotel, and is able to spam the combo off of that hotel position. And, wow, and look at that. Chips and the supports getting kills left and right. Chips and Jim with the double kill, and Internet Hulk takes up Baltaja, so. This is certainly not what Reunited wanted to start out this uh, map. <laughs> so aggressive on the defense. It's kind of been an IDDQD thing. They play rock solid defense, but they don't do it passively. If they see a window to throw damage and they will take it. Okay, so, right now, take a look at things. We have uh, three ultimates up, four uh, Reunited. They will be able to leverage those as they go forward, but man, they have been struggling to get things going. They are moving through the archway here. The turret's actually doing a lot of damage. Uh, to Winghaven and all that. They're finally taking that with the help of uh, Volataja. Uh, Reunite still at full strength. Uh, I do think we're going to see an Earth Shutter oh, out He's able to get out of there. Moment. He got totally surrounded, was able to get out of there. And, uh, oh, this, this, uh, the hammer down from Internet. All two kills now for IDDQD. They're pushing Reunited out, and yeah, I mean, Pluppy, he's uh, pretty good at evading. We do see the res, however, coming up for Morte. Morte nice bringing up the Fallen Heroes of Reunited, and they're still staying in there. Def Sound Barrier is out for IDDQD. Uh, it's a little bit back and forth. We do see the tire, however, coming up for Pluppy. Voltage takes in the bridge bump. Here comes the tire for Pluppy. It's looking for maximum value, if possible, as it goes back in and around. Going in, and it does not kill anything, but it doesn't matter because there's already three people down for uh, Reunited. Yeah, so. speaking of value plays, that teleporter is up. Symmetra, of course, demonstrating an increase in her value. They're going to be able to reinforce this defense if they do start dying. It is looked pretty one-sided thus far, though. Yeah, I mean, you have to love the IDD QD defense. And honestly, uh, this is what we are just talking about here, where even though uh, Reunited looked pretty good on their defense, IDD QD is just looking that much better. And that just, uh, it really does feel like a repeat of the King of the Watch tournament we watched, where you had that slow beginning and it went from there. Yeah, I mean, IDD QD is such a complete team. We always, you know, a lot of their offense, a huge fight coming down, they'll hold that thought. Uh, 
spot. We have two Junkrat Tars out. One from Too Easy is out. We're gonna look at the one from Pluppy. As it goes in, it might just be taking out Winghaven. Oh no, he's going for value. Value Town here as he goes for the Mer Mercy instead. Only one though, but you know what? I respect the decision making. Yeah, you gotta take out the support. Uh, but they're such a complete team that we we also we think of them as like oh they run this double orb they're super aggressive they get their fraggers out there and they win on offense really quickly and while that is true in a lot of cases their defense is absolutely locked down and i think a lot of people forget about that yeah i mean we do have three uh, ultimates up for the reunited side here they might be able to make something happen the ult i mean it's pretty even between the two teams for the ultimates if nothing else uh, speed boost is out for reunited as they go in that's really trying to Strike first blood here on the pick, and no, Mendo gonna take out Winghaven. Takes out 10 outs as well. It's two dead for Reunited. And as a result, IDDQD probably gonna clean this up, and there it is. Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're trying to dislodge Pluppy from this area over here, so they keep sending their combo of Mercy and Pharah that way. Meanwhile, Mendo is on the ground on the other side, picking up the four remaining heroes. Pluppy escapes with his mind, then comes back and kills them in the oh, end. Mendo is finding his groove, uh, rushes down on Fix. Now, taking a look at this, there's only 43 seconds left at the moment and even if reunited you know does capture this point the overall timer is only three minutes left so they would have to set an incredibly fast time when this amendo kusai is just going oh um, got two kills here dead eye is down might add on to it does not add on to it however but him has probably been done only 26 seconds remain or reunited to grab this first point it's looking like idd kd might be putting on another defensive down for us but hey here comes too easy yeah. too easy is able to take out mendo finally Coco though takes out voltage of both teams down the mccree it's 5v5 we do have a tire coming out that is uh, Puppy's tire, I believe, and let's see if he can get the value that he is known for getting with these tires. It's going to the back, and it kills two! That is a double kill for Puppy! And it was just after Too Easy was kind of ignoring these Symmetra turrets, and the Symmetra turrets eventually took Too Easy down. They've been losing Too Easy uh, very early in a lot of these fights. A rock solid defense from IDDQD. It, there was never a point where that was in doubt. That, that was just completely shut out defense. Yeah, it's just one of those things. I mean, it. And we're going to see a great play from Mendo here where he probably towards the end where he was going off. But yeah, it, honestly, this is again, this is a redux of what we saw versus Flat Earth. Thinking, uh, you know, way back where Flat Earth had a really, really good defense against IDDQD, but IDDQD just did the defense that much better. Yeah, just insane Mendo there. And what you didn't see there is the Reinhardt added back to him because he was kind of following the combo up, who was trying to dislodge Pluppy. They failed to do so. They left the four other people exposed out there without a Mercy, and without a Ferret to protect them either. And that's where Mendo was able to clean up and they didn't even get Pluppy, even though they committed the combo to do so. Yep, uh, that is something that uh, happened there. So, nursing stuff happening, if nothing else. And uh, IDDKD showing why they're one of the top teams in the game. Yeah, I mean, kind of what we expected. I, it look, I mean, it just it has so many parallels to when we saw them uh, on Friday. Uh, they just they looked exactly the same. It's the same map. Uh, the 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 offense looked a little bit shaky, but it did complete the map. And then we forgot, you know, we're we're guilty of it too. We forgot, like, oh yeah, they'll just shut them out on defense. No big deal. Um, I'm trying to remember the last team that really put a good stand on them. Um, their Kings Road point one defense is phenomenal.